Hey everybody, I'm here today to do a review of this Ox Coffee Box Coffee Maker. In this video review, I will be going over the functions and features of this coffee maker and I will also be incorporating my personal opinion into this review and I will also be demonstrating myself using it to brew a nice cup of coffee. Now before I get to the review I just want to tell you that I will be getting the camera and showing you some close-up shots of the product so this is not the only camera angle that I will be using for this review video. Let's get right to it. The first thing that I want to point out is this vibrant color on the coffee maker that you can see right here. Now, the coffee box by Ox is a very rugged, durable, tough coffee maker. And with that being said, many people use this on job sites. And job sites can be quite dusty and dirty and so forth, so it can be really easy to lose things on a job site. But you will never lose this machine, you will never lose sight of this machine, simply because it has this very vibrant color. In addition to that, it will stand out from anything else that you have, okay? There are very few products that have this very vibrant color on them. And with that being said, this machine stands out. It's tough, it's durable, it's rugged, and it stands out. I love the overall design of the machine, okay? It's awesome. And before I actually pick up the camera to give you a better view, of a close-up view of the machine, I just want to show you one thing. So let's go ahead and turn the machine around right here. So if you take a look right here, there is actually a retractable cord, power cord, just like that. So you have the power cord when you need it, and then when you don't need it, when you're not using the machine, it retracts. And the power cord retracts right into there, so it is beyond flush with the machine. That's a huge plus in my opinion. Ox has really done an amazing job when they have when they created this machine. So I'm going to actually just take this and I'm going to turn it around just like that. And I'm going to pick up the camera and I'm going to give you a closer view of the machine. So now you're actually getting a behind the scenes shot because this is, a, this is being filmed in my garage. Alrighty, so let's take a look at the top of the machine. Alright, so you have the power button right here. Very simple and straightforward. You use that button to turn the machine on and off. You have these three indicators right here for heating, refill and descale. You have two buttons. One is for brew, one is for water. So in addition to this machine brewing coffee, it actually dispenses hot water. And I'm going to show you a cool, notable feature with regards to brewing and hot water in just a few moments. If you take a look over here, there are three cup sizes, small, medium, and large. This one will dispense eight ounces of liquid. This one will dispense 10 ounces of liquid. And this one will dispense 12 ounces of liquid. Eight, 10, 12. Very simple and straightforward. If you take a look over here, you can see that there's actually a drip tray that retracts in, that folds in. I can actually fold it down just like that. You can put your cup in here and then you can obviously get your coffee or your hot water from there. Now, hopefully I can catch this with the camera. If you take a look up there, it's kind of hard to see right there. There are actually two spouts, okay? So there are two spouts in there. One is for hot water. There's a better view. You can see the sort of the two spouts at the top right there, okay? One is for hot water and one is for brewed coffee. Now what that means is that when you are getting hot water from the machine, it is coming out from a different spout than the brewed coffee. So that means that you're getting absolutely clean water that is not passing through the same pipes uh, or the same, you know, the same uh, portions of the machine that the brewed coffee is passing through. That is a huge plus in my opinion because some people, when they want their hot water, they want it to be passed through pipes that are clean and haven't been, you know, uh, haven't been touched by brewed coffee. I'm just going to fold this up. Up here at the top, if you lift this up, this is where you put the coffee pod in. And this machine is compatible with K-cups. And I'm going to show you what the K-cups are right now. So you can see I have this uh, carrying case right here. You open it up, you can see the K-cups right there. So once again, it's an awesome carrying case and it holds these K-cups. These are single serve coffee pods and this is a K-cup. This is something that I use for the machine. I'm just gonna put it in there. I also, on a side note, have this Aux mug, which is absolutely awesome. It's a travel mug, it's very, very durable, okay? Back to the machine. So if you take a look right there, these are actually tie down, uh, things that you can feed tie downs through. So you can actually secure 
secure this coffee machine to pretty much anything using tie downs. So if you keep this in the back of your pickup truck and you don't want it to move around, you don't want it to shift around as you're driving, you can use tie downs and secure the machine in place through the tie downs. You can see there's one there, there's one there, and we'll walk around to the other side of the machine because I have to show you something else anyways. There's one there, and then there is one there, okay? They are absolutely awesome. There is this awesome carrying handle on top, very durable, very tough, very rugged. And on this side, I'll just pop this open. You can see that there's actually a water tank and I'll lift it out just like that. So you use this side to fill up the water tank and it holds up to two and a half liters, which is awesome in my opinion. That's an awesome amount of water to hold. And basically there's actually a water filter in this right here and the water gets sucked into the machine through this port right here. So there's a water filter, which is also a huge plus in my opinion. I'm just gonna drop this back down. It's easy to put in place and you clip that down. It's literally that simple. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna brew a cup of coffee for you in this review video. I'm just gonna turn the machine like that, okay? Just like that. I'm gonna bring down the drip tray just like that. I'm going to put the camera down just for a brief moment, just for a brief moment so I can actually plug the machine in. So the camera's down. Let's go ahead and get that retractable cord right here. Just as you can see, awesome feature, definitely an awesome feature. And I'm going to plug it in just like that. Okay. It's now plugged in to an electrical extension cord, something that you might be able, that you should be able to do on a job site. Okay. Or if you're on the go and you have an extension cord and you see an electrical outlet somewhere, you can pretty much make coffee anywhere with this thing. Okay. So now I'm going to turn the machine on just by pressing that. And you can see the heating light has been illuminated. So now the machine is actually going to heat up very simple. And we are just going to wait for it to heat up. It shouldn't take that long. Uh, but in the meantime, while it's heating up, just to show you that I'm not using any cuts or anything that it heats up quickly. I'm just going to open up this travel mug right here put the travel mug right there just for now. So we're waiting for it to heat up and it's an awesome machine while we wait for it to heat. I don't want to use a cut or anything in this video because I don't want you to think that it takes a long time to heat up. Look at that. It's already done. So I didn't use any cuts. It is really quick to heat up and get ready. Okay. Very, very simple. So if I wanted to brew a coffee, I would have it on the brew selection and I would just simply choose the size and put the pod in. If I wanted to brew hot water, I would press hot water, I'd press water, and I'd simply select the size with the mug in place. So I'm going to put the mug in place right there. And I want to brew a cup of coffee because if I pressed water and I pressed the size, then it would simply brew hot water. So it has the ability to do that. But for this review video, I want to actually brew a cup of coffee. So it's now set on brew mode. I'm going to get a coffee pod just right here. I'm going to pop this open, put the coffee pod in place just like that. Push this down just like that. It's ready to go. Let's brew a small cup of coffee. Press this button or the desired size, just like that. All that we have to do is give it a few moments to brew the cup of coffee and you will see how delicious it looks, okay? And how easy it is to use. This machine is durable, it's tough, it's easy to use, it's easy to set up. It is absolutely awesome. So as you can see, the coffee is now coming out. Just as you can see right there, it is nice and hot. So now you just have to give the machine just uh, a few moments to actually brew the cup of coffee and it will be done. So I'm just going to go ahead. I'm just going to hold the camera here and I'm just going to speed up this clip until the coffee has been has finished brewing. Alright, so the coffee machine has just finished brewing and as you can see it has brewed this delicious delicious cup of coffee. It's actually just letting out the final drips right now but it's pretty much done. And that's it. Once the machine has finished brewing, you can see that the three lights have illuminated again. Uh, the three cup sizes and that le that lets you know that it's ready for the next cup of coffee. So overall, this is an amazing machine. It is an amazing coffee making machine. And I hope that you have enjoyed this video review of this Ox Coffee Box. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.